good morning students in today's class we will discuss about the one of the important topic for your exams which is analytical balance so this is part of clinical laboratory instructions this is your syllabus you can see here we have discussed up to centrifuges in today's class we will discuss about laboratory balances in which manual balances in manual balances single pan and double pan balances and direct read out electrical balances and use of these single pan double pan and direct electronic balances and care and maintenance and guidelines to be followed and precautions to be taken while weighing and also weighing different types of chemicals and liquids and hygroscopic substances so up to we will discuss today so we all know that physical balances in your daily routine so a common balance is used to find out the mass of a substance by comparing it with the known masses means so the balances are the instruments which is used to find out the mass of substance which we want to weigh by comparing with non masses like if we wanted to weigh a substance to know the mass of substance by comparing with the another mass that is a non mass like a standard weights there are different types of balances are there which are physical balance two pan analytical balances mono pan balances and electron balances in which double and single pan balances and electronic balancer are frequently used in the clinical laboratory in open type physical balancer which are not used so two pan analytic balance and mono pan balances and electron balancer used so physical balance open type in previously which are used in so many shops now they are replaced with electric ones here you can see the old one two pan open type physical balance so they are used for weighing out substances where great accuracy is not required like preparation of qualitative reagents for qualitative reagents we don't need much accuracy for weighing here here you can see there are different weights are there here so usually we will keep the weights in the left pan and the substance which we want to weigh on the right side okay the two pan analytical balance which are used for weighing of chemicals accurately for preparation of analytical reagents and quantitative reagents and the weighing range is from 0.001 g to 100 g so these are used mainly to weigh the chemicals accurately for the preparation of analytical reagents so it contains a single beam with arms of equal length and standard weights are usually added by hand to the right side pan to counterbalance the weight of the object on left side so but in, but in some models a dial or vernier with the chain is used to make fine adjustment to the mass which is adjusted with the right side pan so this is the two pan analytical balance here you can see the pan here so it is a beam with two arms with equal length which will swing equally and knife edge with the screws 
this is the nifid screws and stirrups these are the stirrups which supports the pants or weighing pants and also a central vertical pillar here and pointer which will uh, with the ivory scale and handle and also rigid supports this one and wooden uh, wooden box with the leveling screw so these screws which will level the instrument equally next weighing procedure for two pan analytical balance or so adjust the leveling screws to make the pillar vertically first thing next release the beam by turning the handle so before uh, we weighing we have to release the beam and the pointer should swing to both sides equally if it is swings equally then it is good otherwise we have to adjust the leveling screws next and also adjust by turning the screws nuts at the end of the beam afterwards the place the object that is to be weighed or chemicals or the bottles in the left pan and the standard weights from the weights on right pan next thing adjust the weight from the weight box so that the pointer swing to the both side equally so after adjusting the weights we have to know the mass of this chemical then we have to add into reagent bottle and we have to prepare the reagent so for weighing or adding the chemicals we have to use the spatulas and care and maintenance so a beam of a beam of balance should be arrested when not in use and also before adding or removing the weights the uh, the beam should be arrested always except while we weighing so the weight should not be allowed to lie on the pans or in the wooden box so we have to take it those weights next the balance should not be loaded with a weight greater than the maximum it is constructed to weight so if it the range is 100 grams you should not weight weigh the more than 100 grams next the substance should not be weighed hot so weighing should always when it is the weighing substance always the cool next the cabinet of the balance should be kept closed while reading is taken otherwise air will come and will disturb the weighing so next clean the balance after use and I put a plastic cover over the wooden frame when not in use so never weigh the substance by placing it directly on the pan so always use a butter paper or watch glass and don't spill the chemicals on the scale pans if it is in if anything spilled we have to clean the balance after the use next one mono pan balance so the mono pan balance are more sensitive and weight range is 0.1 to 0.01 mg the balance are mainly used for the preparation of standard solutions so these are electronically operated and self balancing and work on the principle of substitution of weights in previous examples of previous balances we will add the weights to know the weight of the substance whereas here already weights which are present in the instrument so we have to so it is a principle based on the substitution of weights means removing of weights 
and the outstanding features of mo monopion balancer which is high accuracy and sensitivity and quick weighing and easy handling and direct read out reading without use of weights and easily readable rotary scale these are the advantages of this monopion balance here you can see the diagram and the parts of this single monopion or single pen balance here you can see the beam and also so this one so this one is the beam and central knife edge and here central knife edge and also fulcrum which support the both edges right and left here and stirrups which these are stirrups which supports the weighing pans and also here you can see the weights already placed and there are the counter weight on opposite side and also here weighing substances here you can see and also here optical system light system which produce the weight and the scale which will seen on the display so these are the parts so all these parts we can't see in the actual monopan balance this is the actual one you can see here the adjustment fine and coarse adjustments there are the fine and screw adjustments and also here you can see the weight of the substance in the scale and also here single monopan balance which is in enclosed place to prevent the air disturbance here we will weigh the substance so working of monopan balance here the beam is placed beam is situated asymmetrically on the central knife edge next the length of lever the lever arms are l1 and l2 are not equal that's why there it is the both arms are not equal that's why it is a asymmetrically not a symmetrically next the pan is supported by stirrups stirrups which are placed on the outer knife edge so both knife edge are the same plane next a series of calibrated weights are supported from the same end of the beam from which pan is suspended so single pan uh, in the previous diagram you will see that so above the pan only the series of calibrated weights are there that's why by uh, this is this monopan balance working on substitution of weights so already weights are series of weights are placed within the instruments only next a fixed constant counterweight on the opposite side of the beam which keeps the balance in equilibrium so opposite side there is a counterweight is placed so that's why so this counterbalance is uh, disturbed when an unknown weight is placed in the weighing plan next the beam reflects in the direction of heavier side to, to return the system to equilibrium the corresponding mass of calibrated weights is removed from the front of the beam by adjusting the coarse and fine adjustments to remove uh, the removed weights give the weight of unknown substance called the weighing by substitution and now next one the direct read out electrical balances so electrical balances are most accurate and work by using the electricity they consist of three basic components first one a null detector and a feedback loop to control the balancing force and also relating read out device here you can see the diagrammatic representation and actual monopan electrical balance or analytical monopan analytical balance yep. here you can see the balancing pan which is with the weight and 
here the leveling screw by, by which we can see whether the instrument is leveled equally or not and also to here the draft shield which will prevent the air coming so while weighing we have to close the handle door and by after before placing the weight we have to tear it down to zero then we have to place the weight or the substance we wanted to weight then we have to see the display and how much the weight is there so working principle of electro electrical balance see in electrical balance initially the system is in null position means zero when weight is not placed on the single pan so before placing any weight onto the pan it is in zero position so the null detector senses the position of balanced beam next it determines the balance point at which the system is in equilibrium the null detector will sense the position of beam balance beam and determines the balance point at which the system in equilibrium so when the weight or chemical is placed on the single pan the null position is disturbed the zero position is disturbed then in order to recreate the equilibrium the electromagnetic force are used to return the balance beam to its null position the restoring force is applied through the torque motor and it is proportional to the weight on the pan so how much force is applied to replace or to the null position is the weight of the substance so the current required to produce the force which is displayed digitally by the liquid crystal or emitting diodes which is equal to the mass on the balance pan so the guidelines to be followed and precautions while weighing so this will apply to the all analytical balances so measurements can be performed within the protective enclosures and disposable weighing dishes and laboratory spatulas with spoon ends are important accessories for the weighing quantification so this point you can write for all balances and it is also possible to dispense solids directly into the beaker or the the laboratory tube instead of weighing dish however heavy vessels with a mass above the upper limit of the balance must not be applied means so it should not weigh more than the designated uh, weighing capacity of that balance next the the mass of the empty dish must be determined the first so if we are uh, using butter paper or any weighing glass to weigh the substance we have to zero the instrument with the mass of empty dish or the butter paper then the display of the scale must set to zero by pushing the tear button next the substance is added into the weighing dish the display will thus the show the pure mass of the substance because we already tear tear zero to the empty dish or any watch glass so weighing of different types of chemicals and liquids and hygroscopic substances so this will apply to the all balances so first one you should know the what you mean by hygroscopic substances so hygroscopic substances means hygroscopic substances are those which absorb moisture from the atmosphere like aluminum chloride concentrated hso4 or sulfuric acid calcium oxide and magnesium trisilicate ethanol sodium bromide sodium bromide and phenol etc these are the hygroscopic substances whereas deliquescent substances like 
So deliquid substances are those which absorb the moisture from the atmosphere and become aqueous solutions. It will become aqueous means like watery solutions. That is a deliquid substance like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide and magnesium chloride and calcium chloride and zinc chloride and sodium nitrate. So these are the liquid hygroscopic and deliquescent substances. So how to weight these substances or liquids or hygroscopic compounds? So weighing of chemicals like uh, so chemicals which can induce the pans should not be kept directly on the pans. So always use weighing glass or weighing bottles or weighing funnel should be used for this purpose. And hygroscopic substances which absorbs moisture and steadily gain weight so measured weight is more than the actual weight that's why so liquids and volatile solids and hygroscopic solids should be weighed in a stoppered weighing bottles and add desired amount of sample and replace the cap immediately before weighing so while weighing the chemicals handle the concentrated solution to avoid spilling on skin into the eye or swallowing into the mouth. Next, after weighing these substances and after preparing reagents must be stored in amber color airtight screw capped bottles or the container because atmospheric fer uh, atmosphere causes absorption of atmospheric carbon dioxide and water. And also amber colored bottles prevents the exposure to the ultraviolet light which is present in the sunlight and prevent the photosensitivity of the chemicals example like silver nitrate. So and also while weighing chemicals you have to use better to use spatulas. Thank you.